something like a witch doctor, that's more about the reliable sustain, but this could give you team fight supremacy. Well, one way or another, it seems like Alliance is going to be really prioritizing, just trying to hit a timing in the early game. A lot of damage being put out on the maybe. He's in trouble under his own tier one. One more auto attack will do it. S4 getting a solo kill under the tier one of LGD. That's not an easy task to perform, especially when it's a Puck versus an Invoker. Yeah, and it's all the LGD heroes on the lane, the Beastmaster top. They don't have that support who can rotate. Towards top, Ake is under cover of smoke. He's going to move in from the south side. Here we go, EGM and Lulu, they're going to go. Stun comes out, and Sunray is there trying to bring him down. It's not the Sunray enough to keep him alive, and then the very nice Icarus dive back to safety. So September showing that not only is the Phoenix green in team fights, great to save your teammates as well. Well, while that was happening, they actually found the kill bottom lane. So Bulldog left alone. He had the great early start with Ake's support, but Ake leaves the lane, and they're going to take advantage. And with that, at the same time, looks like the Beastmaster did end up going down. The EGM able to finish him off with the damage over time. So, good pick off there. It's going to bring it to 3-1. to one. Alliance uh, doing quite well. As we can see, the top three CS and heroes on the board all belonging to the okay, wow, that's four man. Sunstrike's coming through. There's the stun. And move into the jungle. Uh, or not a support Beastmaster, but a Beastmaster that can go Iron Talon jungle and then uh, give the lane And again, beast. may be in trouble. Ake's there. Doesn't have enough mana. One more auto attack might be enough. No, the region is there. However, Bulldog says, surprise! Found him in the trees and brings him down for the second time this game. And I'm like, I might build a turn it though. There's the stun. He's under tower. Oh, oh, they, oh, oh, they got him. S4 had bailed back to his own side. If he was around, maybe enough to deter that. Instead, he's going to be dove. Icarus dive, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Face shifts one auto attack. He should be able to make it away to safety as he'll have the jaunt to get him back to his own safe high ground. But tell you what, man, seven then suddenly Alliance get the, the edge. So I think it's a little too early to, to call it. For now, both heroes likely to have a big impact as this game moves along. Now, Coming right up on six minutes, it is a slight lead for Alliance, and by slight, I mean they actually just jumped a bit, so it's about a thousand. Not something to uh, shake a stick at this early on, but still certainly something EGM's that can be moving cut. in. They do have some vision here, and I'm like going with the stun, the follow comes with a sunray, and the sun strike a little bit off the mark, but I think they have enough fire to turn this. And now here comes Bulldog, Bulldog contributing what he can, EGM's gonna make it away, maybe just by the, no! It's a trading one for one over in the woods, and now September, tracked down by the big dog, and he's actually gonna reach it. Be brave, but no! Kick from the Bulldog! Can't make it. have that complete here soon. So Alliance showing that they're going to prioritize. Classic EGS. Oh no, I love it. I absolutely love it. I remember back in the day, back in my days, there used to be, uh, you know, a, a bit of mid playing on S4 caught in mid, and he's going to be blown up immediately. So LGD flexing their muscles. Unless he's got something on the curve, I'm not seeing. Still a bit off for loadup. And they just want to force them back. Let's see how much they want to commit here. Yeah, if you're LGD, you got to be careful. Don't want to get caught by the Warlock Ultimate. Alliance trying to bait with Loda, who has the Aegis, so a great target to do so with. Ember Spirit, only the level one side of Fist. Here we go. I don't know why didn't looking for the stun. The Meteor comes through, but man, that damage. LGD getting forced back in a hurry as S4 dishes it out with the, the orb away after the silence, bringing three heroes pretty low. And they are chunking this tier three, my friend. They've already got it down to about half health. They're trying Loda. to the Aegis. Oh, no. they they might have had him with the sun strike, but instead they commit the finger. That's a long cooldown at this stage. All right, here we go. Loda uses the ultimate. There's going to be the rock is that strong. Xiao Hei in trouble over on the side. In the meantime, Ake being burned down by aggressive. He'll be able to bring it down. Bulldog, same boat. Loda is going to be brought down as well. And this is a pretty big win for LGD having sniped the Aegis, now wiping three off. Got more. It's a four for three. It might be a four two. Aggressive needs a little more mana. Actually, back in the... Yeah, looks like he was going for aggressive, but aggressive... Four man smoke from LGD. They're going to move across towards the dire side sequence. They have a hawk on the Ake. Kill here could be big. Might lead to a tower. Uh, this should be easy. Yep. Immediately the sun rate of four. There's going to be TPs coming in. They're coming into a whole team fight. Here we go. And then why is... Uh, yeah, there we go. An egg coming in. He's going to be able to fly through. A bulldog burning down very quickly. EGM's down to about half health. In the meantime, maybe trying to flee. Aggressive looking for safety over in the woods. Loda's going to be able to, to chase him down. Oh, that the micro chance. blocking him in. Aggressive doesn't have a remnant for three seconds. Can Loda finish him off? Oh, the ultimate ends. Aggressive might just get away.
Using his last little bit of mana to jump away. That's four three. Yep. three. Yep. And let's forget him. This is a long chase. Going to be tough. I think he makes it out, but yep. We'll see. And smoke. It's going to be just Ake and S4 hoping to find a target. They may see him. MMY is up on the high ground. He's there to reveal the smoke. The Ember zips away. MMY blinks to the north. Will he make it out? Uh, it doesn't look like it. It's kind of a short blink. S4 catches him, but great support positioning. The stun dodge. Very good phase shift, but there is no running from Omoya. Giving the kill to S4. Back, you just want to, you feel confident going to the late game, so you don't oh, necessarily yeah. want to disrupt them, or do you maybe want to mix it up? Because they could very easily just play a defensive style of game if they want. Hang on, there's going to be, yep, MMY caught out. Over committed to this, last push is Alliance going to be. Uh, Given their itemization, uh -oh. I think it's I'm going to just BOT'd out, so does he have a remnant up? Yeah, has one in the base, but Alliance going to waste no time in rotating onto the bottom lane. They want to break the base right here, right now. Aggressive, trying to slow it down. Up here we go, going straight onto the tower and watching Mel. Great use of the upheaval just to try to zone some folks out. Why did he lost the age? Is he just burned down so fast? They haven't committed anything to Phoenix X, though. They even have a roar in Alliance. Why so I push. didn't even catch it. Like... So, aggressive feeling way more confident, and, and well, he can be aggressive. How fitting. I mean, Alliance, I guess, can try to chip away at this as much as they want, but, you know, there are books on both sides, there are creeps on both sides. Four on wolf action. Yeah. Spicy stuff. Here's the BKB. Lotus is oh, the right. there's a rock. He actually managed to get a few. S4 swapped out by RK. RK manages to keep him alive a little bit here, but MMY now being chased all the way back to the fountain. Phoenix, in the meantime, emerges from the egg. It's a two for one so far, favoring Alliance. Let's see if they can get something out of it. Lotus just being absolutely melted by the Sunray. And now it's going to be S4 trying to take his exit. EGM, in the meantime, was playing back near the... The uh, back lines, I should say, from here on out. Roche has respawned. Or uh, they want to make move. a move here on Bulldog. BOT in from maybe. Here we go. Bulldog backing out. Aggressive for Suddenly, five. Just rushing down mid. They're going to cut back towards Ake. Where are you going, buddy? Sun strikes there. Ooh, eight on two. Maybe he'll basically make it a solo kill. Down for 45 seconds now. Yeah, for the, there's a Hex. Now that's a big item, I think, for Bulldog. Now having to make it work. And having the Orchid and the Hex to deal with the Ember, maybe shut down the Phoenix. He's got a BKB, though. Can they burst him in time? It's going to be tough. The War Echo comes out. Big commitment. They get the kill. Invoker does go down, and we're not done yet. I mean, they just blew everything, though. And now there's going to be the roar. Lotus about to lose his ult. Aki swaps him out, dies immediately, immediately, and Lotus back to his normal form. They pop BKBs, they drop Warlock off, and there was nobody home They're except chasing. the Invoker. They really want Seth Thunder. Oh, that roll Bulldog into the front line. He's going to find MMY. Now the Phoenix Egg. Here we go. Aggressive. Trying to hold the line just for a moment. No, they do manage to bring it down. And now Alliance is very low. Hell Jolly just doesn't have a whole lot to contribute. And one last auto attack secures the kill for S4. The buyback from Phoenix. It's going to be him and Shaolay trying to hold tier three. Oh, and one fell swoop. No buybacks here on the court. Oh, oh. critical moment in Poker. Ember Spirit buying that next item and not having any gas left of the tank for up two. They're going to lose at least one lane. Or maybe not. Hold pop, pop in the glyph. Heroes are respawning. Uh, they're still committing for this one. They really want that main attack. They might get it though. Aggressive come back up. There's going to be the BKB by Lota. Going to try to give chase instead with the Invoker back up. Looks like this could be very bad. There's the Icarus Dive. Admiral Bulldog caught by, from behind by the Tornado. And if they're able to bring him down, and they will be. They have Roar ready, but unfortunately, Shao taking damage. Can't break forward. He really wants to find that additional pick. That's got to be for LGD, though. Was. And, you know, it's in a situation where it didn't need to even be risky, but sometimes you buy that next item, you think the game's safe, and you get very ugly. Here we go, there's going to be a quill. Only caught one, there's one they wanted, it was maybe. And S4 just dies. It looks like he was expecting some more support from his These team. hero wolves did manage to find the racks while it was happening. Now Aki, though, in trouble, aggressive. Snagging the double, we'll keep them there. EGM, finger, and finished off LGD. Well, there's one melee Rex down or anything like that, so uh, look for LGD to try and use the Aegis now uh, and to try and force Alliance to fight before this Aegis expires, and it uh, looks like that's exactly what's about to happen. Aggressive leading the charge. We'll see how well Alliance has this Aegis despawn timer. Committed to memory, they're going to take the melee racks. It looks like pretty much for free. Tornado helping zone them out a little bit. They found Loda. It's the Hawk. Oh, oh, oh man. The Hawk doing work. Enough critters on the map that uh, getting 
your two cents worth out of our winged friend certainly beneficial and that is actually such a huge deal because I mean they're gonna be, end up either forcing him to buy back yeah, he's going to have to buy back here. They can't afford to give up two sets of racks, Ugly. Uh, you can see Bulldog throwing TPs on the bottom lane. He's just not really sure what to do, but that here in the face. Alliance really don't have much time left. they got to take this fight. Take it now. I think they're waiting out the ages here. It's going to expire for oh, the They come in. Yeah. The BKB comes out, and now the Rockets drops. Here we go. Rock's down. They're going to try to turn this. Aggressive still has the ages. He may just feed it. What is that going to despawn? It's got to be super good. close. Yeah, it just went away. So now, yep, he's going to be able to get himself back up to full health off of it. And they're going to continue to pursue this out. LGD with three down on the side of Alliance. The Rocks are for the taking. Loda is about to dip it again. That's probably going to be your ball game, I think. That, at <laughs> that point, it's just like nothing's going to license right. Nope. Seven eight just wants you end the time, but it didn't work out. LGD, bend but don't break defense. Alliance had options this game as far as how they itemized, but the way they itemized, it was just they have to win on that first push, or at least they are something big out of LGD on the second one. They didn't find the opportunity. Really good high ground defense. You gotta say, the September Phoenix, it's become a bit of a growing legend in China, and we see why now. Great at stopping the push. Normally, you're just seeing this here mainly picked for the... Something away, absolutely nothing for free in the early game. Really paying off and paying huge dividends.